July 22, 2023. Ukraine war, approximately nine years and six months into the invasion of Crimea. Day 514 of Special Putin's operations. Big picture. Moscow attempts to take the river valleys and forests of western Luhansk and eastern Kharkiv. The Black Sea is more active in the last week than it has been in a very long time. Moscow may be making attempts to attack, but for the moment have shown little in the way of gains and heavy losses in vehicles over the last 24 hours. Ukraine has destroyed another massive ammunition depot in Crimea. It is our opinion that Ukraine needs to halt all armor attacks in the south until they can find a capable response to the Kremlin's attack helicopters. Without armor, infantry attacks are also not prudent. Wait for air cover, land can be recaptured, soldiers cannot be resurrected. Dnieper line. It appears the Kremlin has ordered that troops here reserve shells in light of Ukrainian successes. Ukraine is reporting only 69 shells fired at Kherson and Mykolaiv by Russian troops in the last 24 hours. Zaporizhia front. Neither side is reporting line changes in this area. Ukraine needs to find a solution to the Kremlin's helicopters and drones. East front, Donetsk. Kremlin mouthpieces are claiming advances in Mariinka, while Ukraine claims attacks repulsed. A notable amount of artillery duels in this area, with Kremlin mouthpieces showing video of claimed destruction of some of Ukraine's systems in this area. Most attacks are occurring south of Avdiivka, directly west of Donetsk. Bakhmut area. Conflicting reports. Both sides are engaged in attacks and both sides appear to be trading some grounds immediately west of the city proper. Ukraine appears to be holding against counterattacks at Klishchivka. At least four artillery duels in the last 24 hours. Oskol border front. At least four different large thrusts by the Kremlin in this area, mostly south of Svadov. At least eight artillery duels in this area in the last 24 hours, generally corresponding with the attack lines. Moscow continues to attempt to expand their gains at the village of Kazmazanivka. Northern border. At least 10 different locations were attacked multiple times by Kremlin artillery. Putin continues to attempt to create a dead zone, it appears. Black Sea. The Kremlin has attacked a drawbridge in the far south of Ukraine at Satoka. Attacks continue against Odessa. As noted, Ukraine destroyed a large munitions storage in Crimea, with reports of a 5 km evacuation zone due to risks. Ukraine also destroyed a petroleum depot in Crimea, and there were reports of explosions in Sevastopol. There was at least a temporary closure of the Kerch Bridge to autos today. Ukraine World Related. Rheinmetall is expected to deliver anti-air shells for the Gepard systems. Uzbekistan laborists who were promised labor in the rebuilding of Mariupol were stripped of passports by the Kremlin's occupation army and forced to volunteer for combat duty. The US is looking at procuring lightweight short-range missile launcher systems for deployment in Ukraine. We aim to bring more. Like and subscribe.